Hello, I'm Snake. How are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Glad to see you on yet again, yet another stream. As always, I have a question uh, for you. Do you think DC and Marvel comics are dead now because of the sales for, uh, from them becoming almost non-existent due to, the, due to having their comics uh, politicized? Um, no, I don't think they're dead. I think, I think. Uh, DC's DC sales are down huge. They they're just doing the wrong damn thing all the time. God damn it! Right? <laughs> like seriously, what in the world are they thinking? They could at random pick ten DC or comic book aficionados from the online community and say, "You guys run DC Comics for five years, right?" And you will see DC Comics sales go through the roof because some amazing stories will be told that are relevant to our times, right? Except the, other than this, <laughs> like whatever you call it, Marvel Comics has been making good moves, but they're just doing—they're doing the same crap as always, right? Just here, here, this worked great. Let's make ten copies of it across multiple platforms. And then just whoa, take over the shelves in comic books. So if you're if you're even enjoying a story in Marvel Comics, and you want it to be self-contained, it, it will not be self-contained because all of a sudden when you're reading it, you'll see certain characters pop up in a few panels or, or a few pages where something had happened in another comic book that totally unrelated to this. Not unrelated. That's the crossover. That happened in another comic book with other characters that you don't give a rat's ass about and you know your characters going through it and talking about the events over there all of a sudden you have no idea what the hell is going on and then they continue on with the main story but that throws you off right it's like running sprints and having a misstep or running track and field and you do a misstep all of a sudden you lose your momentum you lose, you lose your oomph you lose your excitement so that's what marvel and dc are doing right the best stories being told in comic books, especially in the last 10 years, have been in independent comics. Read independent comics, gang. If you want to read some of the greatest comic book stories ever told, they are not. In general, there are some. There are some. Marvel has put out some which are really good, right? Yeah, Immortal Hulk, uh, Venom was pretty good. I didn't read all of them. I read some, some issues, right? Um, uh, what else uh, so, some other ones as well right but in general bang for your buck independent comic books independent comic books 